after seeing countless pitches from entrepreneurs from around the world, what has Kevin O'Leary of Shark Tank and the rest of the sharks come to agree on are some of the most important characteristics when it comes to making a pitch for an investment. We're going to talk about the three most important characteristics in this episode, so you're not going to want to miss it. Let's get to it. This is the Investor Mindset Podcast. Welcome back to this week's Mindset Minutes episode. I'm your host, Stephen Pesavento, and each week we share mindset tips and real estate investing strategies to help you take your business and investing career to the next level. And if you're just joining us, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can let the YouTube algorithm know that this is the kind of content you want to see. And if you're joining us on podcast, hit that subscribe button. And if you've been listening to even just a few episodes, I highly encourage you to go drop a rating or review so we can reach more people with the kind of content we put out every week. So getting into this week's episode, after doing tens and tens of episodes, the Sharks on Shark Tank have come to realize that there's three key components that go into a great pitch. And Kevin O'Leary dives into this a little bit in a recent interview. And I wanted to kind of outline some of these key characteristics, because when it comes to real estate investing, when you're raising capital, when you're talking about vision, when you're looking at bringing people on board to participate and have that opportunity to be able to uh, invest in, and partner with you on your business, you want to make sure you're doing it in the right way. You want to make sure that you're giving those folks the opportunity to see that true vision. And Kevin O'Leary talked about some strategies that I think you guys are really going to love, and it's going to make a big difference in your business. So the first strategy, the first piece of an effective pitch that you must do uh, every single time is you must be able to explain the business concept. You must be able to explain the story in under 90 seconds. So what does that look like? Well, when you're speaking with investors, when you're speaking with potential partners, um, it's, it's critical that you're able to explain the vision and the business plan within 90 seconds and that you're able to hook people in. Because remember, people buy for emotional reasons and they justify logically. So if we know that, then we want to figure out, well, what is different about this real estate investment than maybe others? And what is unique about it? What's uh, unique about the area, the property itself? What's the vision and who are we helping and what is that going to end up doing for the investor, for the uh, tenant, uh, or for the property itself in the neighborhood? So there's lots of different factors that can go into this 60 to 90 second explanation of what it is that you're doing, but it's critical that you spend some time really refining the story so that you can say very, very quickly and in a very, very simple way that really draws people in what it is that you're doing here. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make is that they think it all comes down to the logical side of the equation. They think it all comes down to numbers and that if I have a deal that has a strong return, you're going to hear of people saying, hey, this deal's got a 8% return. Or, hey, this deal's got a 20% IRR. Um, all of those things are, are critically important for people to justify the reason that they're going to invest, but they're going to invest first because they're emotionally hooked in because they believe and trust that this project is going to end up being able to deliver some of those characteristics that are important to them as investors. So number one, make sure you can effectively communicate your story in under 90 seconds. So simplicity is key. Go back to the drawing board, rewrite and rewrite and practice that until you can speak it extremely clearly without any hesitation. The second piece that is, it is absolutely critical is being able to outline and describe why the team that is executing the business plan is the best position to execute the business plan for this investment, for this business. Because at the end of the day, the team is going to be the one who needs to execute. And when it comes to uh, running a business, execution is key. So as these sharks have seen pitch after pitch after pitch, and they've invested in tons of businesses, they've come to realize that at the end of the day, there's a lot of ideas. There's a lot of ideas out there. But the, the key to success in business is effective execution. So it's critical that as you're talking about the, the opportunity that you're, you discuss first, who is on the team 
And what are their track record and experience? What are those characteristics of those individuals? And how does that team end up coming together to be able to deliver that most successfully? So when we talk about team or we talk about operator, we definitely are going to look at track record. So because past performance doesn't predict future performance, but what it does do is a strong indicator that if somebody's been through the trenches before, if somebody's had success over and over again, they understand and have seen what some of those pitfalls, some of those potholes in that are in the road of investing, and they can go around those, or they can understand how they can uh, make sure that that isn't going to retract from their ability to deliver on this business plan. So it's really, really important to to be able to outline exactly why the team is is the absolute most important uh best position folks to be able to execute here and one one little caveat for all the investors out there that are new or maybe are transitioning from one sector to another you personally may not have all the experience necessary uh, to justify that th- that you are the best person to, to execute the business plan. And that's okay, because in this space of commercial real estate, when it comes to a pitch, um, it's, it's quite common to have a team of people because the team goes far beyond simply the founders. It, it goes into uh, the the key members that are on the team. It it goes on to the vendors that you're going to be working with, those property managers, the attorneys, the accountants. It goes to the advisors, the people who are there to help make sure and ensure that that, uh, you're able to overcome any of the challenges along the way. So don't get caught up if, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't quite have that track record. It's okay. But that's why it's more important for you to give up uh, a part of the deal and partner with somebody who is absolutely an expert or to bring in outside staff and and take on the the risk of hiring those folks and then going out and building that track record yourself. And the third thing that the Sharks realize that Kevin O'Leary talks about at length is the importance of knowing your numbers. You need to know the numbers of the deal inside and out. And if you're not a numbers person, then you better have somebody right by your side who's there to answer those questions. But even if you're not a numbers person, it's critical that you're able to speak to very intelligently what the different key numbers are when it comes to operating this business. Because a real estate investment, uh, especially in multifamily and in storage, in industrial, in any of these spaces, these are just small businesses that are being purchased and operated. And it's critical that you understand, well, what is the purchase price? What is the the planned exit price? What's the purchase cap rate? What's the exit cap rate? What is your projected return? What's your project, projected cash on cash? What's your return on capital? Um, What's the LTV? All the numbers that go into making up the deal are critical that you're able to speak to very, very clearly, as well as being able to talk specifically to the business plan and the overall business model about how you, uh, as the operator, as the business owner, as the team, is going to be able to deliver for investors on this plan that you've set out to do. So it's it's really important that you're able to speak to this very clearly and that you have a really, really strong understanding. So what does that mean? That means before you get up in front of folks, before you're speaking to people, before you're making that pitch, you need to spend time practicing. You need to spend time practicing, understanding the numbers, doing the due diligence, diving deep into the numbers, asking questions, practice answering those questions from different team members so that you can pull all of it together into a very, very streamlined um, process of you being able to confidently speak to what the project is, who's on the team, and what the numbers end up looking like. Because what that all comes together is it builds a level of confidence and trust with the investors because at the end of the day, the investor is going to invest in you, in the business, in the team. And what they want to know is that you are fully committed, that you are uh, have a full understanding of what's expected and that you're going to be the best person to end up delivering. So if you want to be able to pitch like some of the best sharks on Shark Tank, then I highly encourage you to take Kevin O'Leary's advice and apply, making sure that every pitch that you have has these three key characteristics in it, that you know the story, that you're able to speak to the team and why they're the best position. And third, and most important, that you can speak to the numbers and you know them in and out and you can explain the business plan anytime you need it. 
So thank you guys so much for, for listening and participating here. If you have ever gone out and done a pitch yourself, drop in the comments below. Let me know what were some of the biggest challenges you had when pitching investors for the very first time, or shoot me a DM on Instagram, letting me know exactly the same at steven.pesavento. So we'll see you guys next time. Now is one of the greatest times in history to be investing in multifamily real estate. With hundreds of millions of dollars literally moving from the stock market into alternative assets like real estate every single day, we're in the midst of a golden era. And one of the keys to success is learning how to avoid those upcoming pitfalls and mastering the process of how to scale as an operator in the multifamily business. Regardless, if you're just getting started, if you've been in the game for decades, you've got to join us for this very special training put on by the Multifamily MBA on how to scale from zero to 2,400 units, the three biggest secrets from building a $320 million multifamily portfolio. Register to join us at the investormindset.com slash MFMBA. That's the investormindset.com slash MFMBA. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for listening to the Investor Mindset Podcast. If you like what you heard, make sure to rate, review, subscribe, and share with a friend. Head over to the investormindset.com to join the Insider Club, where we share tools and strategies from the top investors and entrepreneurs on how to take it to the next level.